I am Nick Boy, and welcome to Pocket. And today I'm going to go on a very, very, very weird journey playing the Magic Circle, and you're going to come with me, whether you like it or not. So come on, let's go. This is me holding your hand. Trust me, it's going to get much weirder than this. The Magic Circle is a game I know nothing about, other than the fact that it's in early access and you play inside a video game. Is it a spin-off to the Magic School Bus? Is it a total knockoff of Magic the Gathering because it shares exactly the same font? These questions will be answered guaranteed in this exclusive pocket first play. My old man used to take off his wedding ring Ooh. and sort of flick it into a spin. I remember being scared to blink, like, what if he loses it? Mm. Would he lose mom? Mm -hmm. Would he lose me? Mm. So, mm. that's our cold open. Just a ring, twirling over black. Cold open? Will it stand? Right, he's fall? pitching. I was about to say, that's industry then, talk. As Starfather, I speak. Once, Starfather stood alone before the circle. I love this already because it combines the two things I do, which is games and TV. Okay, I'm trying to record here, and you're making that face again. The player can skip this, right? Oh, yes. The story is only my life's work, but by all means, skip to the last page. Okay, the voice acting is already totally on point. Dress up? You know, role play. Maze. Thought so. And in that little scene, did you all find yourselves in burning need of a narrator? No. This is great. So he's pitched the game, and then this is the start of the game. This is already far more interesting than 90% of the games that I play on this stupid show. Wow, this is gorgeous. This is so beautiful. This game rocks. The voiceover's awesome. The music's great. The look. It's such a unique idea. It already feels like the Stanley Parable and Story of My Uncle, where it's sort of this disembodied voice talking about things. Ooh, but much more. What well, look to be like dead jesters. They have peas all over them. Hi. Oh, you are terrifying. P means like, needs more pixels? Take sword, sure. Temp, this is like temp dialogue. Mum, father sword. I didn't read the rest because I was so enamored by temp. Hold. Hold, please. So, who are you? Who are you? play tester? Well, let me save you some time. Today, I push the buttons. Ish, we are not changing this part again. 20 years, Maze. 20 years I've wasted writing about the almighty player. But who is the player anyway? They're like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Genocide. They demand a world full of deep, compelling characters, yet at any time, they reserve the right to turn this said people great. into piles of gently glowing ash. Look at our hero. A lonely mute who can't even lower their killing hand. Hey! Matricide is just how they say hi. Your story he needs can't lower his live, killing so hand. I have to cut all <laughs> weapons out of the game? Negative. Fire me. Never. Sorry, bro. So, sorry that I was so quiet sort of for the whole opening of the game. Usually you kind of know the ebbs and flows of a game and how it's gonna work and when I can turn and actually talk to you and the game will be fine. Mysterious. But anytime I look away from the screen, someone's talking to me, there's some weird glowing eye, they're moving geometry around. I can't, I kinda can't not look at the screen uh, because this is a totally different experience than anything I've sort of had so far. Scape, I don't know which of your artists did this, but putting the elementary lock way, way above the door means it's like 110% of testers just spin in place, clutching the keys, looking for a hole, and cursing the game's designers. Repeat after me. The player never, ever, ever looks up. Fix it. Oh, I love you, game. Okay, added to inventory, nobody looks up. I'm gonna look up. Yeah, they're right, no one ever looks up. Life jungle quest, incomplete. For now, just cheat and spawn life key. There's the key. Nailed it. And then eight to 12 hours later, I am Ava Nadir. 
Hero, you are trapped. My minions will destroy you. That's pretty good temp dialogue. It's better than most games. Is that making a comment that most that's what most games sound like? Ah! 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 And they're saying that it's temp? Yeah. I designed that fight to be hard, yeah, not unwinnable. But with no weapons, it might as well be a ugh cutscene. Okay, so this game is basically just a giant passive aggressive bitch fest about all the problems with like giant AAA games that are all the same. I reckon I can walk on that. Yes! Okay, so so far it's not it's not really a game, it's more like an experience. It's more it's al it's almost like an installation piece. It's like a comment on games as opposed to necessarily being its own game, which I'm totally fine with. It might interest you to know that you make video games for a living. That should be an act of love. But after 20 years, well, love is not some mystic, inexhaustible force. It's a fuel. Uh -huh. Projects like this run on it. What? <laughs> and sir, the magic circle has come too far to run empty now. It will reach everyone. And if necessary, sir, I'll burn for it. In my mind, she's talking about like how you no, used to have a passion you don't anymore. Anytime she says yeah, magic yeah. circle, all I hear is Assassin's Creed. Let me guess. You're thinking, that's it? Did I miss the punchline? And you're right, boss. This world is a joke. It's like the Bastion guy. And I need you to finish it. What? What? Yes! How cool is this? Pro mode. Yeah, because I did so well the last time. <gasps> Spikes. Okay, so it's also got like a total anti-chamber vibe as well. Like everything is just freaking out on me. I'm going to go through the copyright infringing font. And into the mouth. The gods of this world don't know you, boss, but they're scared of what you might do. But we both know you can quit this world at any time. I can't. I'm trapped here, and I need your help. Hope that's enough. Ah! 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 Okay, so... I am actually going to leave this here because it's become pretty obvious that this game isn't a game that you really play, it's a game that you experience. And I don't want to wreck that experience for you or me by us not focusing on it entirely. I love this so far. This is an entirely different experience that I've had. I guess the closest thing I can think of it being like is Stanley Parable. But even in Stanley Parable, you were making choices over, you know, what door you went through and what corridor you went down, and, and you were sort of actively playing the game like that, whereas here, so far at least, you seem to be a very passive player, but it's just as intriguing because there's a heap here dragging you along and you're trying to figure out what's happening. According to the Early Access page, this game is content complete. They're kind of just on Early Access so they can uh, do any bug fixes or uh, I believe they're adding subtitles. Uh, but everything here um, is in the game and so you can go out and play it. I am totally going to go home tonight and play this game because I, I want more of these experiences. I want more weird things happening in games where you can tell a story that you would never be able to do this in a movie you would like people would flip if you did this in a movie and you rolled the credits after five minutes and then you had to fix the film from the inside this is what this is why games are awesome this is why we play games i'm gonna go and continue playing this game and maybe you should think about it too but until the next episode of pocket where i hope we look at something this cool again nick boy out